Good morning from the National Weather Service in Pocatello. My name is Carter, and today's weather hazard briefing is for Tuesday, October 12th. We do have continued winter storm impacts much across eastern Idaho, with the snow generally tapering off towards this afternoon, and we're looking at another weaker system uh, Wednesday night into Thursday. Some key points we're going to look at today. We do have those winter storm impacts continuing, especially across eastern Idaho, where we had some very heavy snow bands set up this morning. So we do have the southern and eastern winter weather advisories remaining in effect through noon, and the ones in the west are expiring in just about 45 minutes. Winter storm warning does remain in effect for the eastern highlands and upper Snake Plain. We're seeing accumulations of around that 8 to 12 inch mark, so definitely an uptick from what we saw yesterday. But seeing um, those snow totals increase overnight, we definitely saw those heavier bands setting up, along with those gusty winds, so definitely some very winter-like weather. Uh, another weaker system is expected to pass through Wednesday night into Thursday, with light accumulations mostly confined to eastern Idaho. And some more seasonably and dry conditions expected past Friday and towards mid of part of next week, we can see temperatures as high back in the mid 60s. A look at satellite this morning does show that southwest moisture feed that's really feeding into this system today. That upper level low is going to continue its progression into Colorado today, and we're seeing those wraparound snow bands be getting to work across our area. Those will generally taper off throughout the day, bringing a lot more snow to Wyoming and out east. We'll be seeing those taper off through the rest of today, seeing limited snow impacts during the afternoon hours for much of the area. A look at our weather risk outlook matrix does highlight those snow concerns like we had talked about today, and especially across the Snake Plain where we did see those un um, abnormal, uh, definitely snow totals uh, for today, um, upwards of that 8 to 12 inches across much of the Snake Plain, with some continued snow in the southeast and eastern highlands, and up again by the Continental Divide. Much of the western area is more or less transitioning to more rain or as a possibility of just no precip, so can definitely clearing conditions west to east. And that system we're looking at Wednesday into Thursday can be bringing some afternoon snow showers across much of the region. Uh, as far as looking into Thursday, more of that morning progression. So that Wednesday night into Thursday morning could see a dusting to an inch for much of eastern Idaho. And then conditions look breezy through the remainder of the week. A look at yesterday's snowfall amounts. So we did see a couple inches as far as before midnight, but those those snow totals, especially across eastern Idaho this morning, are going to increase. So just those last few hours yesterday, we did see those accumulations, especially in the central mountains and along the continental divide. And even a few lightning strikes, we had some thunder snow um, a little bit east of Idaho Falls and down by the Wyoming border. A look at the snowfall timing for the rest of today. This morning, the snow should continue. Looks like it's going to be trending more eastern. So as far as the eastern areas of southeast Idaho, we'll be seeing a little bit more snow. So trending a little bit further away from Pocatello and Idaho Falls throughout the day, but still some chances for some light snow showers tapering off throughout the day. And then looking towards tonight, again, much of the snow is going to be confined mostly to those eastern high elevations, maybe mixing down a little bit towards Montpelier or Soda Springs, but just light snow showers uh, for the rest of today, uh, mainly for those eastern regions. One thing that's been noted about today is those wind gusts. We do have those very strong wind gusts, especially along the Continental Divide, so that strong northerly flow is contributing to some wind gusts, um, you know, that 20 to 40 mile an hour range. Uh, Big Southern Butte almost gusted to around that 65 mile an hour threshold, so definitely seeing some increased winds today. And those look to taper off as we trend more of a northwestern direction later today as that upper level low keeps moving to our east. A look at our low and high temperatures today. Again, we're going to be seeing temperatures this morning right around freezing across much of the Snake Plain. So those, the fact that we got a few degrees cooler uh, definitely helped as far as snow totals. So up by Rexburg, Idaho Falls, Ashton, those areas are going to be all below freezing this morning, which is helping contribute to those increased snow totals. Temperatures today look to climb about 10 degrees, so looking at temperatures in the low to mid 40s. And a look at your Wednesday. Again, things cool off by just a few degrees in the low, so temperatures are going to be in about the mid-20s for the Snake Plain and cooler in the higher elevations. And again, high temperatures tomorrow are looking pretty consistent. Again, upper 30s to low 40s. And some looking at some preliminary snowfall amounts Wednesday into Thursday. It's mainly looking like some light accumulation across much of our lower elevations. But when you're talking about some of our mountain passes and higher elevation areas, it could easily see a few inches out of this system. So on top of what we already got, just a few more inches, especially for those higher summits along the Wyoming border and up by the Continental Divide in Montana. We'll get your low and high temperatures Thursday. Again, temperature is pretty consistent throughout this week. We do have those, you know, pretty cooler than normal temperatures, so seasonably cool for this time of year. Uh, temperatures, again, in the upper 20s, low 30s, and then the afternoon, again, warming up into the upper 30s to low 40s. 
Friday, things look a little bit cooler. We do have a system interacting north of us, as we had talked about with those snow showers, and it's going to be transitioning to more northerly flow, which is going to make probably Friday morning one of the coldest nights of this week. Uh, temperatures across the board might be in the low to mid-20s, so definitely a really cold night for Friday morning for this time of year. And temperatures, however, rebound by about 20 degrees, so we're talking temperatures in the mid-40s to 50, so we're seeing that warming trend pretty consistent through the end of this week. And here's a look at your Saturday. Temperatures again warming up by a few degrees. Very cool uh, and cold temperatures during the morning hours, but warming up to more seasonable temperatures in the upper 40s and low 50s. And just a quick summary for today. We do have those winter storm continued impacts, especially across eastern Idaho. We do have those winter weather advisories in southern and eastern portions of the state expiring at noon today. So kind of expect some wintry uh, mixed precipitation, especially this morning as temperatures continue to rise. And that winter, the western winter weather advisory is expiring this morning at 6 a.m., so just like about half an hour or so. And we do have that winter storm warning in effect for the eastern highlands along the Continental Divide and the Upper Snake Plain. And that is a slight update this morning as it you know brings winter storm warnings into the Upper Snake Plain with accumulations right around that 8 to 12 inch mark. So definitely a big change from yesterday, so heightening those impacts around those Idaho Falls up to Ashton area. And we're looking at another weaker system as it passes through Wednesday night into Thursday. And we're mainly going to see some light accumulations, mostly confined to eastern Idaho. But you could see some isolated snow showers pretty much everywhere, as temperatures really do allow for that. And taking a look in the long term, past all this snow, looking towards Friday and beyond, we are seeing a series of upper level ridges. And what that means for weather for us is more seasonable and dry conditions expected. So we can see temperatures next week climbing up into the mid 60s. So getting up actually a little bit above normal possible for next week and just the continued dry pattern. So whatever snow we do get is going to be melting, uh, you know, definitely Friday and beyond. And that about wraps up your weather briefing for today, Tuesday, October 12th. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to give us a call, check out our email, or find some information on our website. Have a wonderful day and enjoy the snow.